us here with the Google team. Uh, just want to give you another resource today. Today I want to talk specifically about uh, a great Google tool called uh, Canvas Apps for Chrome. Uh, it's probably one that many of you have not heard of, um, but uh, this is a phenomenal tool, especially uh, that we are Chromebook school and we're using the, the Lenovo E300s and uh, if you may or may not have known this, um, one of the awesome things about our Lenovo Chromebooks is that the students can flip the, the screens over on the opposite side. And if they use a pencil, um, the graphite in a pencil uh, becomes a writing device on the screen. So um, as long as the students aren't jabbing into the screen, um, the students can use a pencil to uh, write on the tablet on the Chromebook and uh, the Chromebook then becomes a writing device. But how do we make it a writing device? Um, it, we need a specific app that allows us to do that. Now, I apologize. Um, I'm not using a Chromebook. I'm using my desktop computer, so I have to use my mouse to draw. So it's going to be a little sketchy, but um, I'm going to make the best of it. So here I want to show you uh, some different things that you can do with uh, canvas.apps.chrome. Now, if you just go into uh, your Chrome browser and you search for Google Canvas, uh, it's going to give you this link. Um, but if you want to remember and bookmark canvas.apps.chrome, um, again, this is a phenomenal tool. So let's explore this. Uh, uh, I'm using the Loom browser again, or the Loom um, screencasting so that you can see me here. I apologize for my wandering eyes. All right, if you look up top here, you're going to see a very minimalistic screen. You're going to see new drawing and new from image. I'll explain both. And then you'll also see here uh, some more options, uh, which gives you um, later on more options that you can uh, use with your tools. So let's just look at the basic. Let's go with new drawing. And uh, if you look here, you're just going to get a basic color palette. You're going to get um, where you can choose the size of your writing device, pencils, calligraphy pen, a marker, um, chalk, and then an erasing tool. So if I choose my pencil and I go here and draw the size of, uh, or increase the size, it'll show you here what size I'm doing. And I could just um, write my name um, and go like that. And uh, if I wanted to erase it, uh, I could just go here to the undo button. Uh, or again, if I wanted to use the erasing tool, I can go in here and just do some simple erasing. Um, how can this specific app be used? Um, it can be used in a, a variety of ways. For art teachers, uh, this may be a way of you um, having your students do some simple Art drawing, again, remember that they can use uh, a pencil. So um, if you if they have their Chromebooks, you could ask them to uh, sketch certain uh, images. Uh, they can't do rendering. They can't do shading unless they get really specific by going in and uh, changing, let's say, the opacity of a certain thing. Um, so I would kind of leave that out. But if it was just a matter of in let's say um, the early years in kindergarten or grade one where you want them to just learn to draw, um, you could just have them draw a house and uh, you know demonstrate that. Again, uh, I'm using a mouse, so it's extremely difficult for me to draw, but if you're using a pencil, it makes it really easy. So in art, uh, the possibilities are endless. Um, how could you use this in other subjects? In math, uh, math would be a, a great way where uh, a lot of students are, are doing IXL. And um, as you know now with uh, using the computer, students uh, can just go into a program. If you give them uh, an algebraic equation, the students literally can go into a program that they copy paste the algebraic equation and it will type up the whole formula for them and then the students just copy it out. Um, so a lot of times students may have IXL open 
and then they also have this uh, a, you know algebra algebraic calculator that allows them to give them the answer well in this situation you could um, ask them to uh, handwrite the uh, mathematical equations for them so if you gave them a list of let's say 20 questions uh, again using a pencil they could use this just like a sheet of paper um, and I know you as math teachers you have them do this where they write uh, on a piece of paper they flip their Chromebooks upside down they take a picture of it and then they submit it to you uh, this is just another tool as well where the students could use the Chromebooks they could uh, write their answers here so I'll just um, quickly put like let's say number one the answer is 12 in number two it is let's say 17 oops excuse that one number three the answer is 14 again if I was using a pencil on my Chromebook it would look a whole lot nicer um, if the students did this um, this is where you now have these three buttons that come in as save image so if they save the image it's going to go down in here into their in on my PC computer here it went to my downloads folder uh, on their Chromebooks it's going to go into their files menu so all they could do is go into their Google classroom assignment that you've given them and then choose this hopefully you have them rename it and then submit that to you uh, so that again is just a great way that you could use it for math uh, as we move forward into uh, a paperless school um, I'm going to click the home to go back to gallery. You'll now see that uh, my canvases have been saved. But as we move into uh, a paperless school, um, for the early years, a lot of times we want students to uh, do some work uh, on worksheets. And you're unsure of how to use these worksheets or how to, how to get away um, or how to have students uh, complete these worksheets. Now, this is a little bit of... Um, at, at the start, it's a little bit of work, but uh, it definitely would be um, easier in the long run for you. So if you notice here, you have the option um, new from image, but let me explain um, something. Most of the time, if you go to free printables or you go to Teachers Pay Teachers, um, they're not giving you Google Doc files. They're not giving you Word files. They're gonna give you PDF files uh, because they want them to be uneditable. And, uh, at AUS and in many schools we've been trying to work around using Kami and students are using Kami and they find it a little bit difficult but again we have these Chromebooks that we can use as writing tablets as well so I want to show you the process of how you could find these uh, resources online these printables online and then use your Chromebooks um, as a device to uh, complete these worksheets okay so let's go uh, I I went to a website, K5 Learning, and I'm looking for uh, some spelling words. And uh, if I click on a worksheet, um, it's going to prompt me to uh, download it. Um, but what it's going to do is it's going to download it as a PDF. And unfortunately, in the Canva program or the Canvas program, it doesn't read a PDF file. It'll read a JPEG file or a PNG, which is an image file, a PDF file. It will not read so there's a little work that you need to do and um, I think it's worth it um, once you do it the first time uh, then you're you're set to go but again this is a great way to utilize technology in a 21st century way and also uh, have the students learn to use their Chromebooks in an effective way so we've found a PDF file and uh, again in the Chrome Web Store, there is a ton of phenomenal apps or extensions that you can use. And uh, one that you can use is called PDF to JPEG. I love PDF.com. So if you go into your Chrome Web Store and you look for PDF to JPEG and you look for this I love PDF, uh, it'll ask you if you want to add the app. And once you add the app, the app is going to be installed to your Chrome browser. Now, for many of you, um, you may not have known this before, but when you click on the new uh, tabs button, uh, you're going to see that you have the apps button that always shows up in your uh, bookmarks folder. 
So if I go to apps, um, it's going to give me a bunch of different apps that are already loaded. And you'll see here PDF to JPEG. So um, I'm going to go to th this PDF file right here. And I'm going to download this one. So I download the PDF file. And it's going to say, OK, uh, where do you want to go? It's going to my downloads folder. I'm going to click the Save button. And there you go. You know that it's in my downloads folder. I'm going to go back to my apps. And I'm going to click uh, click on the apps button and I'm going to go to PDF JPEG. So I click on this and it opens the app for me. It takes me to I love PDF and it says, hey, select the PDF file. So I'm going to select the PDF file and uh, I'm going to choose, this is a different folder, but let's just go with it. Um, it's called grade one sentences and I'm going to click open. And it's given me this file right here. Let me drag the window over. Oops, I'm getting multiple. Um, and it says uh, page to PDF. Uh, I apologize for this screen here. I, if I, oops, my screen disappeared there. Um, let me... Uh, I don't know if I can bring the camera back on you guys now. I might have just minimized my camera here. Um, but that's okay. You don't need to see my face. So I have page to PDF. I'm going to go convert to JPEG. So it's going to take the PDF file and it is going to make it into a JPEG. So we convert it into PDF and it's going to say download the JPEG images. And it's going to download them into a zipped folder. So I'm going to download them and uh, if you know that you need to extract them, I'm going to press the extract button. Uh, Oops, I'm going to select them and then go extract, extract all. It's going to say, where do you want to go? I'm saving this to my downloads folder again. Let's choose uh, desktop so we know where it's going. I go select, extract, and I have already have them there, but do I want to replace them? And let's say yes. So I'm going to close all this stuff. And now let's go back to the Canvas program. So again, that was a little bit of work, but now um, you can uh, add the JPEG files as source files to your Google Classroom assignment, and then you could ask the students to add them uh, from the Google Drive folder, or you can add them to the Google Drive, and the students can open them up. So you can share the source files with them, whether it be in Google Classroom or in your Google Drive, and they download them. And then you just go new image and say, all right, let's go with the grade one sentences, open it up. And what it does is it opens up this file right here and allows the students to write on that document. So I'm going to go here with the size. And again, uh, they scraped the mud. And again, I'm using... Um, my mouse, I can't write. Um, and so they can continue these assignments. So uh, they're using technology. They're also using um, uh, pencil and they're practicing their penmanship uh, at the same time as opposed to just typing. One of the things that I really hate about Kami um, is that the students always go with the text option. They choose a text box and then they type it. And that's great that they're learning how to type, but at the same time, we need them to practice that penmanship skill. And um, by having them use their Chromebooks uh, and use a tool like Canvas, uh, it allows them to practice. It allows them to complete the um, assignment that's at hand and as well uh, practice their penmanship. So uh, I hope this was valuable to you. And... Uh, Again, uh, look forward for more videos from your Google team. Have a great day.